Hi, my name is Charles Dinarello. I'm a professor of uh, medicine and immunology at the University of Colorado in Denver. I'm here at the ACR meeting. My favorite topic, interleukin-1. But this time I'm not going to talk very much about IL-1 and rheumatology, at least particularly uh, rheumatoid arthritis. I'm going to talk about a new area of IL-1 blockade, which is in cancer and other inflammatory diseases. People often ask, is there any relationship between the inflammation that takes place in, in several diseases uh, and the inflammation of cancer? And the answer is, I think it is. And I think the cytokine that demonstrates this is interleukin-1. So now we have a lot of possible therapies for interleukin-1. We have, of course, the IL-1 receptor antagonist, the anakinra. We have canakinumab, the antibody IL-1 beta. We have a new antibody to interleukin-1 alpha. And that's quite dramatic because most cancers make interleukin-1 alpha. So I'm going to show a lot of data tomorrow about clinical trials of blocking interleukin-1 alpha in colorectal cancer, in lung cancer, in breast cancer, and most importantly in stage 4 pancreatic cancer. It's a new area of IL-1 blockade. Most rheumatologists fear cancer complications from blocking TNF. But in the case of IL-1, you get IL-1 blockade and you see overall survival increase dramatically. And another area I'm going to talk about is the role of IL-1 beta in pre-myeloma. In a published paper with John Lust from the Mayo Clinic, we just showed that if you treat people with anakinra who have pre-myeloma, some of them don't, do not progress to full-blown full blown myeloma for 10 years. And that's really big news. If you want to hear more about IL-1, Jack Kirsch, my good friend, will tell you on Rumenau. Thanks very much.